Hey folks, it's Mac again. This week, we'll take a look at system hardening. Hardening a system really has a singular purpose in mind, fixing vulnerabilities on that system. These vulnerabilities may not be mitigated by simply patching the system. A vulnerability is a vulnerability is a vulnerability. It's a process that helps secure a system by reducing the surface of vulnerability and thereby reducing the potential attack vectors. It's time for a gratuitous keyboard throw. The surface of vulnerability is larger when that system performs more functions. Like it or not, systems come with pre-built Badness 5000, such as default configurations. Is it hacking when you use the default password? Sometimes it's just a case of convenience, and we all know security is not convenient. Having consistently secure configurations right out of the gate helps to ensure the risk of those systems are kept at a minimum. Lower the risk, the lower the likelihood of a breach. Bring forth your hardening checklist. A procedural list of things to do for a particular system or type of system. It's more than applying system updates and turning off those non-essential services, although those are critical on your checklist. Disabling older TLS versions, enabling the firewall on IPS, deploying endpoint protection, removing guest accounts, securing passwords, removing unwanted software, updating third-party software, enabling auditing, disabling USB ports, encryption at rest, updating and locking the firmware. You get the point. There are many excellent hardening procedures available. Go forth and seek thy knowledge. Google is your friend. Final thought. System hardening occurs most often at the beginning of the system's life cycle but it sure will pay dividends if you can revisit it throughout the entirety of that life cycle. Make it better and move it forward.